This is System Test 2, and we've got the CETA XFP panel. Uh, so today in this video we're going to be testing the uh, optical to start with, so we're going to test the optical, then we're going to test the heat detector, so that's all we're going to be testing today. So let's put the panel into access mode, so access level 3, enter the code. I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video, but I am using the default uh, code, so there is a default code in the menu of the uh, in the manual of the panel so so yes yeah, so we're in the access level 3 because because we need to be in access level 3 so we can silence the sounders so to start with we're going to test the optical detector so with some smoke spray so uh, let's give the op optical a test so here we go let's give it a test there we go There we go. So as you can see, one of one got one of one of alarms in zone one, loop one, device one. So this is the first device in the loop. So uh, I might just blow some air into it. Okay, there we go. So let's reset. It may re-trigger again. Uh, I'm just going to reset to see if it goes off. It might re-trigger again. If it does, we'll silence the sounder. See if it goes off. Nope, doesn't look like if it goes off. If it goes off, we'll um, silence the sounder. So next, let's test the uh, heat detector. So, and I've got a hairdryer. So let's test heat detector. So here we go. Looks like it's come up with a pre-alarm, so I'm not actually sure what the pre-alarm does, but on the heat detector it does, uh, for some reason, pre-alarm on the heat detector for some reason, and uh, I'm not sure why it pre-alarms on the heat detector, so if anyone can explain why uh, this detector... So if anyone knows why the heat detector pre-alarms, because it said pre-alarm, uh, just let me know, guys know uh, why it's, why it's pre-alarmed and what I should do if it pre-alarms, so... But for some reason it's not actually... Um, Set the detect, uh, set the panel off, and, and set the sounders off for some reason, and the LED didn't illuminate. So uh, I think that kind of is a fail for um, the, the heat detector, unless I'm doing something wrong. So if anyone, if anyone can let me know why it's pre-alarming, and if there's a way I can like make it so it doesn't pre-alarm or you know what I'm doing wrong, uh, if anyone, if anyone can let me know in the comments why it's pre-alarming and why it's not. Why the panel has not? Um, I mean, it, it registered it on the panel, but then it just came off, and then the sound doesn't sound. So, if you guys can let me know, so I know for when I'm testing the heat detector again, maybe system test three, the heat detector will work then. So, but I have I did uh, test this heat detector once before, and it did pre-alarm, and I wanted to try it again, but it seemed like it pre-alarmed again. So, um, oh well, but. Um, at least the optical works, the optical works, but um, for some reason the heat detector uh, it pre alarms. I think it is wired incorrectly and all that. Um, but I think if it's in pre alarm, it should sound the sounders uh, if it takes some time, but unless I haven't put, I haven't, I put less heat in. Um, but. Yeah, I'm not not entirely sure why it, why it's going to pre-alarm for the heat detector. Either I put less heat in or I put too much heat in. But if you guys can let me know what I'm doing wrong, and um, if you guys can let me know, then uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, in in, in system test three, we'll, we will test the heat detector, and it hopefully should work. Uh, if not, I'll try and figure the problem out. But 
thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time for the next system test. So see you in, see you in system test 3. Bye bye. Thank you.